No chill, no filter. What's poppin', what's poppin', and what is poppin' yet again, y'all? Y'all know what it is, man. It's your big homie, MC Ron Ski. Here to just do a quick recap, man, of the evening, man. That black, that black elite battle league, man, is, uh, black, black Aladdin, man. You, you definitely, Catboy was on to something when he said, man, you, you're definitely borderline genius, fam. Because, uh, doing what you did, fam, and what you doing, and then the bars that you had, man, oh my God, man. It, it was, it was the truth. You know what I'm saying? You went from giving them packs to, you know, getting, putting them on the stage, uh, however it is that you worded it, man, it was raw, man. Actually, that battle between you and A-Ward was, um, was dopeness. For real, for real, man. On both ends. Um, but yeah, man, you had your work cut out for you on that one. But, uh, let's just speak on, um, first battle of the night anyway <clears throat> was Floss the Boss versus Jig Meme. Um, Floss the Boss was acting a fool, man, at first. This is dead talk. Headshot straight for I got blood all over the crop. Then his man walked in. It's crazy how after I let it fly, I had a ladder standing on the red carpet. What are we doing? Oh, oh, what are we doing here? But y'all think I give a fuck if this man bang? Man, that basement would have looked like a pile of blood game. <clears throat> man, that get it back. He lost it. He 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 dropped the ball and. And you already know how it is in the battle rap community, man. You know, a choke is kind of like an automatic loss. Anytime you come you come through, man, you got to be prepared because you don't want to lose, man, for the lack of preparedness. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you go, if you go, especially if you're going to get in the ring over here, straight up. Anytime, anytime you come to Milwaukee, man, it's going to, you're going to have to, you got to bring your A game because we got some killers here. So yeah, Jig Gameen came through, man, and he took care of his business on that, man. So that was definitely Jig Gameen. I already said my piece on the main event, which was uh, Black Aladdin versus A Ward. Um, <laughs> you, you the young homie, but I, I just I'm I'm just no chill, no filter TV. It's unbiased, man. That dude handed your ass to you. Um, a Ward is definitely a force. I would like to see him back. I would like to see him. I would like to see him versus, you know what I'm saying, a couple of mocaps, but I don't want to make it seem like I'm being biased because I'm not. But, you know, I mean, with the likes of, you know, the example, Bankhead, you know, Kooji, I think we'll see. And, and they don't get it twisted. We saw a fire ass battle last night. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I don't know. It's, it's I guess it's the the difference. You know what I mean? When you say, okay, you accept the battle, man, you definitely got to be prepared, you know what I'm saying, for those type of situations, man. Speaking of which, <sighs> Catboy Hurt versus Killer B, man. Killer B went first, so you already know on those uh, one-rounders, it's going to probably come down to the second, um, to the person that go last. But this one here, it was, it was super duper close, but... Catboy left Earth. When I say left Earth, I mean, and I'm talking about shit like the pat down. Where you at now? What made you leave the city you love? And why you ain't taking no other subs? When niggas gonna come to Arizona, show stop a light. I don't know, bro. I just didn't want to go to Arizona. <laughs> And it went on like that the whole fucking battle, man. Don't get it twisted. Like I said, man, don't think I'm being one-sided because, you know, Killer B was definitely home some... I saw the back. It's because I slide on niggas. They probably seen me fire on niggas. I bust dog in his shit. Swear it's going to feel like Drago hit him. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to feel like Drago hit him. Yeah, yeah. When I cop back and clock cap like a Chicago nigga. Oh. And, and his whole round was was that also, but 
I don't know. Uh, uh, my man Cowboy, he he came with a little bit too much seasoning, man. He came, but you know, my man said the same thing. You know, he, you know, Killer B, you know, he 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 real about his. You know, what I'm saying he let it be known. Like, I mean, you know, everything was everything was everything, man. But uh, I definitely love that battle, man. Once again, man, um, Killer B, you didn't let me down, and I'm talking about. Catboy, once again, I told you you one of my top five anyway in Milwaukee, man. You and the example. I'm not gonna say the other three right now because this is this that's for another vlog. But yeah, man, once again, man, shout out to my man, Black Aladdin, man, um, Black Elite Battle League, man. Thanks for having me. I'm glad I was there, man. I just wish I could have actually recorded the main event, but I don't want no issues, you know what I'm saying? Uh, although you have dropped it, that was fast as hell. That was crazy, crazy fucking quick. Um, which is something that you're supposed to be doing, man. You did it right. So, yeah, once again, man, um, appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? Thanks for the hospitality and that lookout, you know what I'm saying, at the end. I definitely appreciate that, fam. So, you already know I'm going to be at the next one. I'm going to be covering it. So, everybody know, show up to show off because I'm going to show out. You feel me? So, yeah, man, it's the big homie MC Ronski. That was no chill, no filter TV, man. And uh, thanks for watching. I'm about this bitch. Peace. Oh, <laughs>